Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I am back with another laminating video. Now, I want to quickly show you that a couple of things <clears throat> that we're going to do. So, this is just scrap paper and that is actually stamps. Now, I thought it would be really good if we, we've all got scraps you just basically cut them up like you would with your washi tape. When I did the washi tape video, you could do it with that if you wanted to. And I just made little, I think they're about five eighths of an inch, five eighths of an inch strips. And I also stamped on some of them because a lot of the paper I use, because you don't want it to be too thick. The back is just white because it's single sided and I just stamped on the back. And then I also made a really cute little matching pen box. So I'll show, quickly show you. It's just card on the inside and it just holds a little pen and it matches the paper. And this happens to be <clears throat> a little notebook. Now it's a cover, but I did it all and then I cut it wrong. So I, I haven't glued it because I cut it wrong, but obviously we will on the one we're gonna make. And it's just meant to be just a notebook cover. So these would be brilliant little gifts for people because you could make them to match the matching notebook and the matching pen box. So I thought we could do a Christmas one. Um, this is the A5 notepads that I've got. And all I've took is I've just cut loads of um, scraps up which were like I say about five eighths of an inch thick or wide rather and this was this like beautiful kind of paper foiled Christmassy paper um, I've just kind of just raided what I've got and just cut lots of scraps up and I've got two pieces of A4 card this is the Sizzix card and we have the texture one side. I want that to be on the inside of the notepad so I'm going to cover the other side, the flat side. And then this one will be for the pen box. So obviously we need to cover all of these first. Now you can do it any way you like. You could use glue, double sided adhesive, um, tape, whatever you want. All I'm going to use is glue. And obviously it takes a little bit of time to glue them all on, but I'm not, you know, particularly bothered about that. And it's just a case of gluing them on in any pattern you like. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that they're really butted up to each other so there is, you know, no gaps. Because when you laminate them, you can't tell because it's it's smooth it just goes over all of the joins so I think it's pretty self-explanatory really just a case of just gluing them all and covering most of the paper so I'm going to glue all these and then I will be back when it's done and we'll get the rest of it made all right so as you can see that is looking really really pretty now I want to show you what I did with the stamped stuff. So let me see. Right, so I've just got again a bit of the paper, but I'm just going to turn it round where it's white. And I happened to buy this magazine the other day because I can't find my stamps. The packed <laughs> um, crafts beautiful. And you got this beautiful uh, rare earth stamp set. I mean, that's pretty big. And you got a little stock and die, absolutely beautiful. Some really cute little stamps with that. And there's also a couple of sentiments with it. So I've put them on the block. I've got the Happy Christmas. I've got the tiny little present. And I've also got one of the little baubles that I got. I've just got some Versafine ink and I think I'm going to start with a little bauble. Now you could also get your colouring pens or pencils out, 
colour them in as well but again I have no idea mine are packed away because I'll be moving soon <laughs> so and then I'm going to think I'm going to put the present oh they're really nice I like the texture on them actually I'll show you in a minute Christmas stamp beautifully then see the texture on them and then I might just go back to the bauble now I think that should be long enough and then obviously I just took the glue <clears throat> this is going to be too long so don't really need to stamp all of that anyway but never mind and then I just glue it like this all the way along I mean if the paper you're using is double sided you can just get some like thin white card or paper and just stamp on that and then I might put a red bit underneath so I think you can get the idea I think that's a really nice little way of decorating them so I'm going to get on with that and I'm going to do the same again, another one of these to make the little pen box and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've done those. Now, this bit for the pen box, if you don't want to stick a full sheet down, um, I've just cut this to three and a half, I think it was, three and a half inches. Yeah, three and a half and then obviously it's eight and a quarter. So... I used a matte pouch for the other one. I'm going to use glossy this time, I think, because I do like the glossy ones. And I'm just going to do the one sided. So I'm going to pop this one face down, like so. And then I will probably get a couple of pieces of copy of paper and run this one in as well. So I'll do that and I'll be straight back. Okay, so that's that done and I did run this through a couple of times as well. I've also trimmed it down. Let me move this camera up a sec. I've trimmed it down to five and seven eighth inches wide but that would depend on what notebook you're using this is for an a5 one so i'm going to turn it to the long side and i'm going to have what would be at the bottom of my notebook to the left right i'm going to score it at eight and a quarter inches And I'm going to score it at eight and three quarters. A couple of times need to make sure it's gone through, which it has. Okay, so now we are going to fold this. And then obviously it's all nice and card on the inside as well and it will go over like this and then that will stick on the back now you can cut some off if you feel like it's maybe going to be too much on the back so it will go over just like this 
And now we have a gorgeous Christmas notebook. No, I think I'm quite happy with mine that far down. So I'm not going to put glue on this bit here. I'm just going to put it on the back. So you want plenty of glue on the back. And obviously with this just being laminated one side, it's going to be easy to stick because it's just card on the reverse. All right. There we have our gorgeous Christmassy notebook and that is a really thick hard cover that. So yeah, absolutely love this. So there's the book and now for the and this piece here that we cut off you could turn this into a little bookmark or something. So eight and a quarter by three and a half. Now this one turn it to the short side you are going to score half an inch so half an inch then you are going to score at one and a quarter inches Two inches two and two and three quarters Oops. right so you've got all your score marks there and then sorry that's the other side done now this is going to be the top this is going to be the bottom so for the top you're going to score half an inch you're going to score um an inch one and a quarter and let me just see the length i had this pen box and then seven and a half. Right. And then once I've folded this, I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to run it back through the laminator because sometimes when you score it, it just may sometimes if it's thick, it just starts to lift off the lamination. So I'm not worried because I know once I put it through, it will seal it again. So it's going to go together like this, okay? This is the top, so we are going to have a box like this. So we need to, I'll start from the bottom, remove this skinnier little rectangle and then just cut up the other ones All right and then we need to keep these two so we need to cut down here so you've got the little skinny one which you need to remove all of the skinny one just get this right because I don't want to make a mess of it yeah and then we need to cut this one away I'm going to put cut a bit more because this is going to be like the little tabs for the inside and I'm just going to mitre them now if you wanted to you could also just not laminate the tabs by um, 
tucking them under or something you don't have to laminate the tabs same we need to cut down here so we cut down here and here and then we're going to remove that one put this one down remove that one completely so that's what you want okay so that when this folds like this then we'll tuck in this will go in here but I think we need to cut a little bit off this as well because it's probably a bit too much and then just a tiny little bit off the corners so when we glue it it will close in like this and then the bottom this will just completely glue down just like that okay and that'll be the little pen box so I'm going to quickly run this back through because that one's peeled away um, and all right so I'll run back. that back through and that stuck that all back down I've glued the sides and the bottom okay and I've got my little pen in it goes they fold in and that just closes in and there is our gorgeous little pen box and we've got our beautiful lovely notebook that matches so how sweet are them for well professional looking gifts i think that box looks actually really professional um so yeah there you go you can put some ribbon on whatever you want but yeah hope you've enjoyed it um i'll be back again soon with another video so thanks for watching take care and bye for now